Foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakarash. Also, double honors to the apostles, and elders, and great millstones. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word on truth and on sincerity. And uh, you, you see the title, all right? You know, forsake not your, you know, your daily bread, all right? Which goes into, you know, your reading. That, that's what I'm, uh, I want to get into. Not necessarily actual food, but. Uh, spiritual food, all right, and we know that Yahweh Shai is that you know he's the bread of life, okay. He is the word, and we need to uh, make sure that we're reading you know every day if possible. Now, of course, you know sometimes things happen. You know you don't read maybe for a day, maybe two. It happens, and I, you know personally, the reason why this lesson uh, came to mind is because I, I haven't been reading as much. You know, uh, the past two weeks, I've been doing a lot of lessons, things have been coming up, you know, in life, and I just haven't been actually sitting down and reading. So this week, I've been, you know, you know, making an effort to sit down and get, you know, these chapters in, and I feel a lot better through the Spirit, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And, you know, we can't, you know, um, you know, forsake these things. You got some love? Yeah, this is so John chapter 6, verse 53. It says, Then ye how I said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. We just gonna rehearse all the things uh, that are written in the scriptures, man. You know, to the best of our ability. And to want to do those things are is a sign that you have the Spirit of the Lord in you, you know. Because he, he is he's the bread of life, you know. Uh, that's why he was born in a manger. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. Many of you fulfill these words that are written in, in, in the book for us to do. That's the, that's the spirit of eternal life. Because if we were able to do all the things that are written in the book it, 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 to, it, to consistency and completion, we would be righteous. We would be perfect. Now, we are not able to do these things to totality because we are in this flesh. We have a restriction that, that guards us from completing that, you know, from truly eating uh, 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 the fruits of life, you know. But the Lord knoweth our frame and he sees our spirit because we're striving for the mastery. That's the reason why uh, Paul wrote that. You know, we're striving for the mastery. If we weren't striving for perfection, we would already be perfect. The Lord doesn't want you to sit in your shit. He wants you to try. But with that being said, you have to learn what's good and what's wrong. It says uh, that when you have a shy, what was it, butter and, and honey shall he eat. That was talking about these scriptures to understand what is, what is good and what is evil. That's why we indulge in these scriptures. And it says that, um, uh, you know, you're supposed, you're supposed to read, right? And until I come... Uh, go ahead. It says, uh, first, first Timothy four and thirteen. Till I come, give attendance to reading. Ooh, to so that was, so like, that was the first thing he said. Give attendance to what reading, because you need that daily bread, which is what Yahweh Shai. Right. You need Yahweh Shai daily. And with reading, you, know? you understand how to take rebuke and how to teach. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it gives you an understanding of how to teach. And then, if uh, if you don't know something completely, that's why you had somebody else. Uh, that came in before you that dealt with certain situations and experiences who ate their role so they can teach you, oh, yeah, you read, have you not read this? Well, this is what it truly means, and I dealt with it. And if you actually, and the Lord is de dealing with you, if you, you, you've been reading, you'll see it, but you'll be cut, but then you'll see it, but damn, it does say that. Mm -hmm. Watch what it's like, lucky he who reads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says, uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 13, 
till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, mm -hmm. to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, by the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Which is the eldership and the, the order that the Lord set up. So you would know that unless you read it. If you can actually read it, you know there's a system that the Lord has always followed within this thing, man. You know, was it, uh, it was outwardly spoken, and then once it was outwardly spoken, you understand how things and certain uh, regulations start to fall in line. The Lord has always been about the same order, man. Even when, when he's spoken through man. Just like, even so, you know, the Lord always was going to have a king over us. He spoke it in the book of Genesis. You know, that's the reason why he allowed such things, even though Jake was going off. First, he, he, he let a, a bogus king come before us, which was Saul. And then he actually, you know, he, uh, he, he then he brought up uh, King David, which is a man after his own heart. It was always an order that the Lord followed. But if you've been reading, you'll understand these things. And then it'll take somebody to clarify, which is written in the book of uh, Corinthians, how it tells you that you, you just uh, let, let one or two speak and let the other, uh, damn, like, no, one or two read and let one prophesy, you know? It, it gives you that breakdown that there's going to be somebody who's going to clarify these things so that everybody else has to understand it. And if you've been following along your book, that's why we say, hey, come come, come to, to, the, to the camp and ask us questions decently in order. You'll be fed. Mm -hmm. Can I uh, get the definition for the word hand, right? So I'm going to uh, read that again. Uh, actually, can you read it? Con, it says More or less the last part. Okay, First Timothy 4 and 14, the last part, it says, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Okay, and that word hands, when you go into it, all right, um, it's the Greek word, uh, man, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. I'm just going to say it. That's why you need it. Kaya. All right. Which um, one of the definitions is what? By the help or agency of anyone. By means of one of point being is by the help of whom? The elders. All right. The presbytery, which is the body of the elders. So point being, though, is you're going to need men to help you out. All right. In, uh, in uh, understanding the scriptures. And that goes into what? Order, as the brother was talking about, man. As the other brother, the hot was, you know, getting into, basically. But you got certain individuals out there. They, 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 they don't believe that they need another man to teach them. Because the Holy Spirit teaches me now. Right. You know? Right. The Holy Spirit, you know, he, he, it's guiding me. Okay, buddy. Sure thing. And all those guys that, you know, you know that, that uh, had brought that doctrine out beforehand, because these guys who say it now, they're not the first ones who said it. Mm -hmm. There's other guys who, who made those statements. And where are they now? Hmm. It says, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. It says, uh, meditate, right? Let me get that in what is that, the book of Psalms real quick. One and one. Yeah. Get that real fast. This is the book of Psalms one and one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man, as men of the Lord. Okay? We'll, uh, go back to the... Con, it says, 1 Timothy 4 and 15, Meditate upon these things. Mm. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy property may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this... Say, say, read that part. Slow it down. Take heed to what? It says, uh, uh, verse 16, Take heed unto thyself. Unto thyself, yep. Yeah. And... Onto the doctrine. Yeah. Continue in continue. them. He ain't continuing them. All right? So you got to constantly read, man. Because you, you, you're going to forget things. You're in the flesh. Yeah. You can't sit there and, all right, read it one time and you, you just got to memorize it like that. No. Yeah, it'll be in your head for a little while, but if you don't go over it, you'll eventually forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not all things can be in the Son of Man, but the Son of Man is not in the water. So you don't forget. But, uh, the, this brother, um, I sent him something, and I thought, you know, it was just, you know, an interesting thing with the, the Gadites. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, yeah, brother, they're, they're going off. And then you sent me the, the one precept, and I was and I was like, damn. I was like, that's why two is better than one, mm -hmm. you know? Because I forgot that law that, that, that the brother brought out saying, oh, this mm -hmm. is why they're going See, off. Yeah. I, I just forgot because I hadn't read it in a long time. And point being, though, is, hey, it, it, this brother hey, cor uh, corrected me. He's like, hey, brother, boom. And I was like, oh, <laughs> 
That's why I said uh, send right the, that was his next message. That's, that's why two is better than one. Yeah, that's why you had cops keep going over the scriptures to be fresh in your mind, man. So you don't go over something that after a while it slips your mind. That's right. Yeah, there's a saying called uh, I think it's a uh, repetition is the father of skill. Yeah, that's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I got a free. Oh, oh yeah, I got a little one. bit more. It says, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Mm. Exactly. So this doctrine that you know it not only can save you, it can save those that, that hear it as well. You know, you know how uh, we talk about how can they uh, know if they uh, if they didn't have like a preacher in that book of oh, Romans. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Yeah, so you gotta be taught, man. Like you, you got, like you said, these guys that uh, say spirit prophecy, they they still using the name and all this shit. Where you learn that from, man? Exactly. But then when you ask them that, crickets. Right. <laughs> no response. Yeah. Okay. It's crazy, man. And they never want to actually just say, yeah, you know what? These men taught me. Yeah. You're full, right. you're full of pride. Pride yeah. leads to destruction. That's right. It's like a goose in the army, man. Yeah. I got a. Uh, oh. No, I cannot spoil the whole thing. Um, it, was, it was basically what uh, Zaquan uh, quoted. This is Revelation 1 and 3. Mm -hmm. Blesses he that readeth. That's right. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. All right? Hey, blessed is the one that readeth, man. And with all thy getting, yeah, get understanding. Right. And I was going to make a point on that, too. Yeah. Oh. That, that word <laughs> of uh, uh, readeth goes into really understanding, but right. it's just on the surface level. Mm -hmm. And blessed is, the, uh, blessed is the man that readeth. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay? Yeah. Or people, yeah, you read, you study. The Lord is going to suffer you and you to understand. Yeah. That's right. Uh, I got a, just a back of it real quick. <laughs> Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is, the wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. That's right. Yeah. If I may make a quick point, too, going back to this 1 Timothy 4 and 16, it says, For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So that's why we have to study, because when we study, we show ourselves approved. And not only that, but we rightly divide the word of truth. So if you're not reading, if you're not studying, if you're not understanding what you're reading, ultimately you're going to be preaching the wrong doctrine. You're going to be uh, ultimately gathering the wrong... You're going to be completely going off, leading the blind... The, the blind is going to be leading the blind astray, man. You're going to be going off. Uh, um... Uh, the scriptures say, "Well, you got to be ready to give an answer." Oh yeah, oh, you know, you if you can get that, you know. I had something. Yep. Uh, 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 can a brother get that scripture? Yeah. But the scriptures say that man, be ready to give an answer. So you got to make sure that that, that you're uh, well acquainted, all right, with these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and if you're going to be well acquainted with it, you got to do what? Read. Yep. You got to be really in it. And then when you, once you start getting on a higher level, you start doing what? Looking up words, yeah. all right? Uh, uh, definitions. You know, you start uh, looking up maps, okay? You start watching maybe some videos or you look into some articles about the history. So then you can get what? More knowledge and understanding of what was, you know, what's going on, all right? But um, you got that? Oh, yeah, quick. God, it says, uh, verse Peter 3 and 15, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Yeah, and then you, uh, another thing, too, is you can't be proud, yeah. right? Because you got a lot of guys out there that, you know, what does it say? Uh, now it's puffy up. Yep. They get a little bit of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now their uh, the, the nose is in the air, man, all right? You know, their uh, S-I, you know, uh, S-H-I-T doesn't stink anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. Just be clear. It's like you guys. Uh, even with that, but those guys they, they truly don't understand uh, the knowledge that they've been given mm -hmm. because it tells you about pride. That means that they, they just know certain things or certain key details and they still don't know them principles. Yeah, yeah but you, you got deliberate in meekness. And what was the meekness and what? I and fear. That. Meekness and fear. That's right, man. Okay. And fear will make you humble. Yeah. Because the, you, you start. Hey, you know, like, man, if I if I treat this, you know, individual wrong, Lord, am I killing me, man? Yep. If I do, if I teach, you know, uh, something wrong, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Mm -hmm. All right, and hey, we gotta, you know, really be, you know, fearful and, 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 and humble. All right. Um, yeah, this is uh, uh, 
Ephesians uh, 3 and uh, uh, 1. It says, For this cause I, Paul, a prisoner of uh, Yahweh Shai, for you Gentiles, which is the Israelite foreigners, yep. if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of the Most High, which is given me to you, word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in a few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge mm. is in the mystery of the anointing, Yahweh Shah. Mm. So you gotta read. When you say when you read, you understand the mystery, man. Mm. You know, by reading, studying, looking up words, you know, the Lord sup with you and uh, give you the understanding, man. That's right. Yeah. I have another one real quick. Which, yeah. Let's um, go to my book again. I did not. Okay. Not it says uh, mm -hmm. uh, Colossians 4 and 6. It says, mm -hmm. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how you ought to answer every man. And, there's, and salt goes into, into uh, wisdom, okay? Yep. That's funny, too. The Spirit, we brought that out in class. So, okay. you know, just, uh, you know, because it's cycle, because a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, um, you know, brothers, they'll talk about, oh, you know how I said uh, we're, we're the salt of the earth. They'll say, oh, yeah, Jake is flavorful. Okay, yes, you know, that, that's one aspect of it. But in in reality, it's really going into the, the wisdom, man. Right, right. Okay? Yeah. So read that one more time, though. Yeah, no, so, so, so I say this because it said, so you read down, it said salt lost its flavor, meaning you're not bring out the wisdom or you're teaching bullshit. Yeah, you're not being seasoned on Yeah, yeah, right. It says, uh, it Colossians 4 and 6, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt. Yeah, with this wisdom, keep going. That you may know how you ought to answer every man. Yeah, and you would know how to answer a man by what? Reading. Because the scriptures, they basically give you, um, uh, there's an answer for every type of a scenario. Literally. It, it, it covers all aspects of life. From how to deal with the woman, to how to deal with the wicked person of this world, to how to deal with your parents, how to deal with the ecosystem, it, uh, it has answers for everything. Yeah. But if you don't read, you wouldn't know it. Mm -hmm. And have that proper understanding. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because Christians read, they be like, oh, I read the uh, Bible five, six, seven times. They have no understanding. Yeah, and that's why you brought up the scripture. With all that getting, get what? Understanding. understanding. As far as that, you can have a, a teacher that's been seen. Again, mm -hmm. yep. 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 what does it say about the elders? Yep. Let them rule well because uh, uh, their uh, senses have been what exercised? Yeah. 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 Well, they just read on their own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why they didn't get them. They just read on their own. And you have you have to have a teacher, uh, you know, to teach you these scriptures, man. It's just like he talks mm -hmm. about. It's a time that you're not supposed to upgrade. He says if you upgrade friends, you know, you separate your friends. But then it's, it's, it, hey, it's, it's another thing that says that he, he, how was I upgraded? But he didn't go off in it. Because that means it's a time to actually sharply cut somebody the fuck out. So, but does that mean that I can come in the room just because I'm irritated, I can start going off on everybody because I'm in a bad fucking mood? No. It's a balance on how to deal with things, man. Right. And you won't understand that unless you dealt with somebody who's dealt with these things and understood them. You think that you didn't deal with these things for a small moment you can go out there? No. Experience. Exactly. And then if you've been among somebody that taught you this, don't you think they can teach you a lot more? You should probably stick around with that. And you'll eat more. They the one who's gonna cook. You just a nigga that taught that tasted the meal. You think you can gonna steal the secret <laughs> recipe, nigga? You didn't even get that more. Right? Well, that's why the scripture say I like scripture say mark the perfect man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Um, peace. Did you finish it? Yeah. I got oh, oh, so like, start going around with these brothers get this reset. Start from there. This is Acts eight and thirty. And man, I'm gonna start at uh <laughs> you had a thing about that. I was the whole time. That's the spirit. Uh, um start at twenty eight or yep. uh, twenty seven. And he arose and went and behold a man of Ethiopia and eunuch of great so, so I mean, he is talking about uh, uh Philip. Philip. Okay. Keep going so long. Uh a eunuch of great authority under Candace, Queen of Ethiopians. Who had charge of all her treasure, who had come to Jerusalem for to worship. And just a side note, that uh, 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 that Ethiopian, all right, that they, they were Israelites. 
but they were from the land of Ethiopia. Okay, it's like, you know, for instance, people calling us, what, Americans, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or Chicagoans, whatever, because we're out here in Chicago, mm -hmm. right? They, they, even, even though we're not, we're not that, you know, by, you know, our actual nationality is not that, but people would say, you know, those things, okay? All right, that's just like, you know, this situation here. Oh, he's an Ethiopian. Mm -hmm. He's not, a, he's not really, you know, a Kushite. No, 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 he's a, he's an Israelite living in that land, man. And, the, and we know that's the Israelite because where were they going? To where? What did they say? Jerusalem? Why? Because they, hey, was it three times off the year? Mm -hmm. Hey, we, we had to go back to Jerusalem, all right, to, you know, uh, deal with the um, uh, high holy day, mm -hmm. okay? You see? That's just a little side note, you know? Paul said he was a Roman. Oh, yeah, yeah, like the brother said. Wait, Paul said he was a Roman. What, what, was he, uh, what, was he even like that? <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, hey, what did he say? What, he, he, he also said what? Yeah. He was a, 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 a Benjaminite, man. Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, man. Okay? But uh, that was just a side note. Um, yeah, he saw mad tail. He, he used the scripture to fit his bullshit narrative. It ain't working, man. You go ahead, bro. Verse 28 and was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading Isaiah the prophet. What was he doing? Sitting in his chariot. And doing what, though? Reading Isaiah reading. the prophet. He was reading. He was reading, okay? Yeah, Keep right. going. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to his chariot. So, so go, 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 uh, go near his chariot. Verse 30, and Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, mm -hmm. and said, Understand thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I? Except some man should guide me. Which hey, that means he got the first principles of understanding the scriptures uh, so that he can understand more. It takes humility. And it also tells you that you need guidance. What was it, a guide, if I'm not um, mistaken? Yeah. Let me look that word up real quick. Uh, so what was that asking? Yeah, look up 31. Um, let me look up this word, guide. <laughs> right? And it says here, um, it's hold uh, ale in the Greek. And it says what? To be a guide or a teacher. To give guidance to, so he needed he needed guidance, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's to, thing, man. to yeah. show the way, literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, yeah. and you need that, man. In this truth, you need a man to teach you and guide you. Right, they they accept that. And whatever they is, they accept that. Hey, I I need to be talking to that boy. Come out to this word. The Holy Spirit talks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I forgot, man. You know, you know, you're like the Apostle Paul. Right. You know, we went into that in class. You're rock. You need to teach. You know, so that's the spirit. Everything was leading up to this lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, you don't need teaching. You can't, you can't think that you don't need teaching, man. What the, what, and that's what the spirit says. I mean, even it says in the scriptures, the old saying in the world, too many uh, chiefs, not enough in you. Man. In, in the scripture, it says, uh, be not many masters, man. Mm -hmm. So because hey, it's a lot different it's corrupting, but in that same scripture that you just quoted, James three and one, that says, uh, "My brethren, be not many masters, for we shall receive a greater condemnation." So when we're teaching out there, not only do we have to be teaching the right, correct doctrine, we have to be breaking the scriptures down, but we have to make sure that we're doing it with humility of mind, man. Like mm -hmm. that scripture with meekness and and, and fear, yeah, because it is right. Because if we're not doing that. Ultimately, hey, we're going to receive the greater condemnation because we're not breaking the, down the scriptures, right? We're not doing what's supposed to be, uh, uh, we're not teaching what's supposed to be taught, man. You see, those are the guys whose mouths must be stopped teaching things which they ought not to, man. You see? Oh, yeah. It should be stopped. You know, a lot of times the Lord just uses them to weed out people that he don't want, man. God knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and they were essentially followers of men. And the Lord would get a, some great speaker that really wasn't in the spirit, but they could speak about everything that they, they found out within the spirit, and they they lead other men astray, man. And it talks about that, that they, that they would be uh, seducing spirits, man, and it would be men that would heap unto themselves uh, teachers after their own heart. So that's the reason why the Lord does that, man. He, don't, he doesn't want everybody in there. That's a scary thing, but it's also... It's a faith booster because if you're doing what's right and you're denying all that bullshit, you're good. 
You know, it's just, yeah, you're going to see certain brothers fall out. And this is going to happen until we get the fuck up out of here, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Getting what it is. Uh, I'm a, I'll read the verse over. It says, and he said, how can I, except some man should guide me, and he desire Philip, that he will come up and sit with him. This, this is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage, mm -hmm. for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance yep. the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Hey, hey, you know, this you know, this has been taught by Moses, all right? It's Joshua, all right? Verse 7, only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to the law, mm -hmm. which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest. Hey, without you know, without you know, reading you know, read these law statutes commandments, man, and the plan to your life, you know. Hey, hey, you can't you can't go no better, man. You know, you won't prosper. You stop reaching in the scriptures too, man. If you don't know it, I mean it's it's one thing to kind of feel like something something's right, and then you go and you try to get counsel on it so you can understand it better. But then you also got niggas that are fucking ask you a question I already have their answer set up in their mind. God, and that man. shit is wicked as fuck. Yep. Why the fuck you even ask me, man? Because <laughs> you're wicked. Yeah. yeah. Keep Just reading. Start some shit. Exactly. Oh. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not be part out of thy mouth. Yep. Mm -hmm. Be thou, no, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That's right. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Mm -hmm. But then thou shalt make be way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Yeah, so you supposed to meditate day and night, Salafi. Hey, you gotta meditate day and night. Go yeah. back to that Psalms. Come on. So mm -hmm. that you can prosper. Yeah, and then, look, you're supposed to read, you know, get X amount done, and then you what? Meditate on what you just read. Yeah, and stick with you more, yeah. man. So you can always meditate on it, stick with you. Yeah. Hey, another thing, another thing is that it says rehearse the righteous acts, bro. How can you, right? How can you rehearse if you haven't read? Right. You yeah. gotta read to rehearse. Yeah. <laughs> like, you gotta go over it nonstop. Yeah. Like, I don't care because when I was growing up, I was uh, in, in, like you know concert band, all that stuff, you know. Yeah. With the orchestra and all that shit, uh, bro. Before we had the you know the you know the data, you know, you know our uh, performance, right? Mm -hmm. You had to what constantly rehearse. I mean, oh. what, what did you do during rehearsal? Reading you know the sheets yeah, of music. Was, Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We're constantly reading the scriptures and rehearsing it. And then finally, we're going to perform, you know, uh, the acts perfectly when we're what? In the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to get to be in this show. <laughs> yeah. They never get to be in this <laughs> Hey, you, so you fucking teach yeah. them kids. Not everybody gets to be in the show because they fucking don't know how to act. God knows. I had to kick them out some. Hey, it's like, even in, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what was it? Like, was it football? What? Uh, you, you, certain people get what? Cut? Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, right. You're cut, you're cut, you're cut. You, you know, don't know the the name of who made it. Everybody you else. horse play too yeah. much. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so some of you guys, hey, you try it out, and you got got the boot. You got, got cut. The boot. <laughs> yeah, you got it. They're all looking for their name. Yeah, on on the, the board? The whole time. Because it lost me, you wasn't, you wasn't doing what you were supposed to do. Yeah. Like, like, you want, you got to state examine out yourself. See See if you be in the faith. That's you right. guys don't examine themselves, you know. So the Lord end up, you know, getting rid of the eleven, man. Yeah. It's like going to baseball practice, you know, and trying out for a major league baseball team, and you know, you, you <laughs> and you and you go there, man. You right? You know, you go and you go to you know base and you go to you know fucking spring training, and you, and you don't make it. You know, you get a red tag in your locker. Damn, <laughs> so you can't make it. Tag. I seen out for major league the movie. So. <laughs> When you always got cut, that's the best situation to be in. Is it an emergency? No. Okay. It's uh, Romans 15 and 4. It says, mm. But whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our right. learning. Yeah. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have yeah. hope. Damn. Damn. And hey, uh, the yeah. elder Brother Shakari talked about this a lot. And these scriptures not only, you know, gives you the understanding, gives you the breakdown, gives you this and that. It also, hey, builds you up, makes you feel better, makes you feel good inside to read the scripture. Man, we finna be out of here. Get that in the third. It, it, it builds you up, just like. Mm -hmm. Can I get this real quick? The priest at the back, you up? This is uh, real fast. The book of uh, Matthew, 
chapter four, main points in four, but I'm gonna start at one. Mm -hmm. Then you uh Matthew four, four and one. Then was Yahweh Shah led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Mm -hmm. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterwards a hunger. And when the tempter came, the Satan came to him, he said, If thou be the son of the most high Yahweh, command these stones to uh, be made bread. But he, meaning Yahweh Shai, answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, <laughs> but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. Every word. Yep. Right. And like how you're saying, well, you start feeling good once you start right. reading, you know, now that you, your spirit's now uplifted, you're not, you know, that, that, that woe is me spirit, so to speak. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, like I said, he's able to read the faith. See, when you don't read, then that opens the door for the demons. Yeah. yeah. The scriptures say, uh, delight, uh, let your soul delight itself in fatness. So you got to constantly be in the scriptures so that your soul could be comforted, right? It says that uh, in patience and, uh, and the comfort of the scriptures, man. Yep. These scriptures are a comfort unto us. Not only that, but they uh, magnify the hope that we have, man. The more we read these scriptures, the bigger our hope gets, man. The bigger we, uh, we have that expectation that the Lord is going to come back. See, these scriptures... Not only are they a faith booster, but they're really the, the staple behind what we have faith on, man. If See, if there wasn't a book, if there wasn't scriptures, if there wasn't a Bible, then what, what would we have faith on, man? Guess what? We would still have faith. Uh, what would we have to place our faith on, man? What would have to be our comfort, man? But Yahweh Bashem Yahushua would still give us something, right? But, hey, this, this Bible, these words, they're here for a reason, man. And we have to study them. We have to live by them. We have to... Actually, make sure that we're uh, 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 getting into them, man. Hey, can somebody get the scripture on uh, Malachi, the third chapter, about uh, um, the book of remembrance and get the book on uh, the comfort? I think it's like St. John 13 or, or tw uh, 14, somewhere up in there. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I was say, yeah, going back to what Master Zacha read, you know, how Yahweh Shai fasted four days, four nights, uh, and the same come. But guess what? If you don't read, then, you know, uh, You'll be overtaken by Satan, man. Mm -hmm. you, know, yeah. you know, so so if you like if you, if you read all the time study, then when Satan comes with that bullshit, you'll be the script you'll have the scriptures right there, man. Right, because you got you know how to cut them, man. Yeah. And it, it, it mentions that in the scriptures that uh, let somebody uh, put a guard over my mouth and over my thoughts. Uh, because over your thoughts is where uh, Satan infiltrates. Mm -hmm. But uh, real quick, this is Sirach chapter uh, twenty four. Verse 33 says, I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it to all ages forever. So that's what the Lord, he brought back this book of remembrance, man, so that we would have the understanding of how to deal with things in these times and what our forefathers dealt with and what's to come and how we're going to deal with it in that situation. It says, Behold, that I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. You know, so this, this, this is for the, uh, the elect men, those who truly want it. But the only way you're going to obtain it is if you, you come in in meekness and humbleness of spirit. Otherwise, you just some some nigga that this was never for you like a goddamn fox. You know, the, oh shit, what does it say? Uh, uh, the, the Jerusalem, yeah, the die prophets are like a, like foxes in the desert. You know, because these are the same men that people usually follow after those false prophets. You know, that have that same wicked ass spirit. They're, they're not really here for the body. They're here to take something and leave, man. Hey, did not did he have shot call scribes that Pharisee foxes? Yep. Mm -hmm. I got a quick one what you just said is uh, Sirach 3 and 19 it says many are in high place and of renown but mysteries are revealed unto the meek and hey these mysteries hey, the scripture says that uh, the Lord doeth nothing but he revealeth the secrets unto his servants the prophets so the ones that are actually serving the Lord with that, that humility of mind that are actually serving the Lord uh, humbly right guess what those, mis those, those mysteries are going to be revealed unto them man the Lord isn't going to uh, hold back uh, wisdom from them. It says, if any man lack wisdom, pray to the Most High who giveth liberally, man. So guess what? If you really want to know these scriptures, if you really want to know these breakdowns, then you're going to do everything in your power to read, to read, to really try to understand, watch lessons, call a brother, link up with a brother, man. You see? All those things are really going to uh, help you uh, build your understanding. Not only that, but you're going to uh, uh, be able to teach others, man. Now you're going to be able, uh, uh, apt to teach, be able to break down scriptures, be able to bring things out, man. And you said teach others, right? What did Yahweh Shai say? 
if you love me, do what? Feed my sheep. Uh, what? Fe feed them with, uh, you know, uh, hamburgers and some chicken? Yeah. No, man. It's talking about uh, this, this bread of life, man. Right? The word. That's the, that's what you got. Uh, that's what you should be feeding. All right? The, the, the flock. And, and I'll say this. Make sure it's uh, all natural or organic food. No, 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 that, none of that, G, that GMO BS. Yeah, right, which a lot of guys like to, you know, push forth. That's when Michigan was. <laughs> God damn. damn. It's right. right. <laughs> God damn. It's a little brown in there. Oh, man. <laughs> you all right? Shit. It's a Michigan one. Michigan. 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 It's the truth, though, man. You know, as his brother saying, you know, he's using that as an analogy. Hey, if you do drink that Flint, Michigan water, you will die. And that's right. what will happen if you if you drink that uh that poisonous all right doctrine, man. Mm -hmm. You keep drinking that shit, man, you're gonna fucking die. Yep. All right. Next thing you know, you, 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 what's crazy is you start dying from the inside out, man. Mm -hmm. You don't even realize you're sick. You know, so all these things are happening. You think everything's cool, like some of these guys. They think everything's straight, but they're just slowly dying. Yep. From the inside out, eventually they Lord's gonna just smoke their ass. Yeah, you, can you, can see, you can see in their eyes, like that. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny, man. I was on the on the bus with a nigga woman, older nigga woman on Friday last week, and she was actually in the spirit. She was just sighing and crying about all the shit. That, everything this woman said was on point. The older woman, I just heard on the bus. The only motherfucker here on the bus. And one thing she said, she's like. She wasn't even trying to be all in that old Christian spirit. She just was actually just letting this shit flow. And she said that uh, it's because it's goddamn sin. The sin. The sin. That's what got motherfucking sick. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's fucking you up. And she was right. Whether she do that shit or not, man. It's the, it's the fact that you going off is eventually going to kill you, man. It already got you. It already created the uh, plague of the heart in your mind. Sooner or later, you're going to die out. And that's us losing our savior, man. Because, whoa, we, we lost our wisdom when we go to that Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. It says that this was, was a wisdom that was supposed to set us apart from all these other nations. This word, what we have, this inheritance, the law, statutes, and commandments, this was, was supposed, uh, this was what was supposed to separate us from everybody else, man. But guess what? Our people lost their savor. They lost their flavor. They lost their wisdom. You know? So, ultimately, now we're in the position that we're in right now, man. That's why now... Coming back to the to the truth, now coming back to to the uh, to the actual doctrine, we have to make sure that we're teaching our people the right, correct doctrine and feeding them with understanding, so that they're able to actually uh, 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 um, be uh, 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 fed in the spirit and understand, and not only uh, uh, be built up, but actually uh, uh, be able to themselves to go and read and actually uh, 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 have faith, read, understand. Real, real yeah, quick, exactly. uh, yeah, Second too. Timothy's two and fifteen. It says, "Study to show thyself approved. Study, read unto the <laughs> Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed." Right, because you are. That's where it says that you have the unction from the Most High, and that you need that no man teach you, because you've been taught this. Is you sticking to? Nobody needs to add anything extra. You already know. You already know the special sauce. You know how to cook. You know how to do this. You know how to do this. Mm -hmm. Walk in the bam. It says, "Rightly dividing the word of truth, man." All right, so that you are able to teach Israel how to be Israel. You are able to teach men of Israel, Yasharala, how to be men of the Lord, Yasharala, man. How to call on the name of the Most High. What tribes are this? Like, who's this going into? How to break this down? What Hebrew to pray to, man? All right? When, you, when you're in a, in a straight, how you supposed to act, man? All right? How to be, shit. I wouldn't say how to be humble, but shit, some parts of that you're supposed to know. But it's some parts that, hey, you come in, damn, I didn't even know I was being proud at that moment. Because you got to understand the Lord really wants to break that shit off. It's like one of those goddamn Russian um uh, uh sculptures that where you feel how you keep on going to the bottom of the cup and it gets smaller. And the Lord wants to get to that refinement, man. He wants to see the purity. And if there ain't no purity, well, damn, I kept on breaking this motherfucker down. This is all the shit that's right here. I'm going to discard this shit. And I'm going to get a whole new vessel and see what's right here. Now, I finally found gold. That's the Lord. That's the reason why the Lord purges us like that. But it takes humility to get through all that so that you are able to be the fine vessel that the Lord wants you to be. Uh, because everything that you said is in the scripture it says Colossians 1 and 9 for this cause we also since the day we heard it do not cease to pray for you and to desire 
that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of the Most High. So that, hey, you cannot increase in the knowledge of the Most High. You cannot be fruitful in every good work. You cannot do those things. If first and foremost, you don't have the spiritual understanding. If you're not being taught by men that are above you that have been exercised, man, that they've been experienced, man. And, hey, somebody that's been experienced, that means that they've been tried out. They've, they've gone through certain things to be able to give you the download to, for, for certain situations that you go through, man. They're able to give you the breakdown, man. And you should be, matter of fact, you should be happy that you have elders over you, man. Because the scriptures say that you're supposed to weigh the steps of, 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 of the elders. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that, that that's the spirit that you should be in, man. Trying to get that spiritual understanding. Trying to get uh, 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 the, 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 the be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom, man. Because if you have the knowledge of his will... And then you're going to be moving in the correct spirit, man. If you know what the Lord is about to do to this place, if you know what the Lord's will is, you're not going to be teaching the wrong shit. You're not going to be going off in the doctrine. You're not going to be going off or uh, not reading, you know. You're going to be try you're going to be doing it in meekness and fear. You're going to have that fear that's going to be like, you know what, I got to go read. You know what, I got to go watch this lesson. You know what, I got to go get this breakdown. Because guess what, those exhortations, that doctrine, all that, that reading... That's gonna ultimately build you up to to what that so that like that verse uh, uh uh verse ten says that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So then, when you do that, guess what? Now you're walking worthy of the Lord. You're not eating the the body of the Lord unworthily, man. Because if you guess what, you eat the body of the Lord unworthily, that's death unto you, man. You're condemning yourself, man. You're fucking yourself up, and you don't even know it. Hey, well, you got to have the fruits of the Spirit. That's the inside joke. Fruits of the Spirit. Do you have them? That fucking bugs out shit. But, hey, you do have to actually have the, the fruits of the Spirit. So, you know, in case brothers do, don't take that the wrong way. This is scoffing as nigga that's out there just saying that. To have the fruits of the Spirit, you got to be able to cast these same seeds amongst the ground. Otherwise, whatever seeds you're casting, you, you're going to bring forth wicked fruit, man. You're going to make a... a what it says, you, you make a uh, man tenfold worse than you. That's what these, these guys is going off for doing, man. You know, you got your, your fucking goddamn it, um, your vampire boys, and you got your, your honey berries and all them niggas. What, vampire what, boy. what, what are they doing, man? <laughs> they're making niggas, they're, they're making niggas tenfold worse than themselves, man. All right? But all because you didn't stick to what you were taught. Our elders never strayed from what they were taught. Nah, that's nah, what you got to remember. Bro. All right? Yeah, that's that's right, Wendy the Pooh and Dracula. Yeah. And even that, it was the fruit of, of, of the breakdown of, uh, of, um, of, uh, of, um, of Cornelius, man. So that was never going on. If it was told unto them that it was going on, well, of course they would have stopped teaching it. But the Spirit didn't want that, and the Spirit had that elder say that they were not going on. So you can't use that. You have not surpassed your teachers. You become worse than your teachers because your teachers are still teaching the same thing. These guys are double minded. They're bugged out. They don't know what the hell is going yeah, on. They got demons on them, man. Yeah. And they're getting uh, trapped up in their web of lies, man. Okay? You know? Because that, that, that's what's happening. They, they, you got to keep, you know, this this whole, you know, uh, uh, th I'm going to call it a theory, okay? Because that's what it is, a goddamn theory. All right? You know, the web here and everything. Yeah. You know? They, they've been going all over the place, and all of a sudden they got caught up in their own shit. Mm -hmm. Bugged out, through. Like, Done. Yeah. They let their tables be a snare unto them, a trap unto them. Yeah, okay? All right, a stumbling block. That's what you guys have, man. Hey, but you know what? How shy is y'all from the stumbling block? Okay. Yep. Maybe we like Lord. You say I will lay stumbling blocks on, on to his people, man. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, Lord willing, Lord, that, Lord willing, ain't up to this room, man. God, be praying for that all the time. Man. God knows. Cause Lord can use anything, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use me. Shit, that evil suspicion is a motherfucker. That's one thing. Yeah. You know. And then shit, just thinking that she's right. You could be wrong as hell. Right. The, that, that, and it can free the doctrine. You know, free the guy. You threw that motherfucking disc. And yeah, he's swinging around. And Goku made him run into him. And cut him in half with that motherfucker. You look at Anakin. Anakin was so strong and pride, prideful. That he thought, right. man, look, yeah. I'm, I'm strong in this thing. I'm this thing. I'm this. I'm that. Well, I should be on this level. They should promote me. Yeah, but I have the higher ground. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Open my eyes. I did experience. 
did. He did. He, he, he let me know. Like, like, bitch, you forget the way you're wrong. Yeah. Not do this. You might be wrong, motherfucker, but, well, come on. I'm, I'm your master. <laughs> and I already got the highest ground. Yeah. Stay on the porch. Yeah, stay on that porch. He jumped off that motherfucker. Yeah. And one thing, and one thing <laughs> is that uh, in, the, in, the, in the fucking series too, he's still oh, fucking his ass God. up. Hey, <laughs> one thing, especially with that Anakin stuff, man, he was being emotional too, man. Yeah, yeah. You can't be a Jedi and be emotional, bro. Yeah. Or you go straight to the dark side. I mean, yeah. shit. What he say? I love you, Anakin, but nigga, you went off. Yeah, yeah. And hey, you, you love brothers. Too. You love brothers when, it, when uh, you know when they come into this. Then they start going out there and that shit be hurting, man. Damn, this nigga not gonna make it for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> King David loved Saul, man. Mm-hmm. King David loved Saul. Nigga ran to the day. That's why the skirt. Mm-hmm. And then he, he was, was cut to the he heart. Said, he was like, damn. He said it smote him in the heart. He was like, damn. God damn. Bro. See, I went. Oh. It, 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 it hurts, man, but you just want them to turn from their ways, but they just ain't those men. Shit. Sure. Uh, uh, before Samuel had went on to the spirit world, he cried over King Saul too. And then he came back from the spirit world when they had called him up. He was like, he, he was in the spirit, straight spirit, no emotion, no flesh. Why you why you summon me for, back to this shit, man? Okay, I know. You and your son. You and your son is about to be right here, man. <laughs> Just cause you going the fuck off. <laughs> Bring you to the Philistines. <laughs> God damn, bro. Yeah, man, and, and that's the spirit of glory it, it, he has out here, man. You know? And, and our spirit's gonna get a lot uh, rougher too, man, because it says that brotherly love shall wax cold. You know, not amongst us if we're in the spirit, but that 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 camaraderie that, that you would have in the world is about to be, it's about to get really manly out here. It's about to be a hard time. Yeah. It's gonna be real straight. That's right. I got a precept. I'm glad you actually said that. <laughs> straight now, it worked out. Um, because you know. We have to read and with the uh, wrong I get and get understanding. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. How you gonna have it if you never read it? <laughs> the fear of Yahweh Yahshai is his treasure. Which it says that a wise man will fear everything. God, man. man, you like we say, you always feel it sometimes. Damn, did I do this too much? And you're not trying to be over righteous, mm-hmm. but it's a consideration towards your spirit. How is the Lord looking? If it's like shit, if you're doing something for the Lord and you're supposed to be reenacting these ways through this brother towards the Lord, well, would that be good enough for the Lord? All right, yeah, no brother's trying to lord over you. It's not saying that, it's just like it's a care, it's a care for the body. Like, damn, I feel like I can get some bogus ass shit right now. Well, let me at least apologize to this brother and find a way to make it up to him. Like, you're going to try to be brotherly. You're going to try to be uh, um, in a spirit to be as a role model uh, towards other brothers. You know, you're going to you're gonna divide things in, in righteousness, man. You know, you're going you're gonna to have a care for the body and, and your charity is going to be up to keep as best it can be. Meaning, like, it, if you had $2, you'd probably give that nigga your last, not a nigga, but you know your brother your last $2 like the woman who gave her mics, man. You know, she cast in her mics. That was a care for her saying that this is more important than whatever the fuck I got going on. If this really meant for me to have anything after this, the Lord gonna provide the Lord will. I got one real quick for what you just said. Proverbs 17 and 9. And this is what really walking in the spirit is like, man. He that covereth the transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth the magic separateth very friends. So you constantly bringing up the same shit over and over and over and over again. Hey, what did Peter say? Peter said, how many times shall my brother uh, transgress against me and I shall forgive him? Yahweh I told him 70 times times 7, man. So, hey, we got to constantly, hey, there's, hey, we're dealing, wait, we're in the flesh, man. There's going to be things that we go through. Hey, a brother's going to offend you. You're going to offend the brother. Something's going to happen. Hey, but guess what? If you're actually applying Yahweh Shai, if you're reading, if you understand what you're reading, Guess what? You're going to go, whatever gift you have that you're about to bring to the altar, you're about to leave it there and go fix that out that you have with your brother, man. You're going to cover that transgression. Why? Because you're seeking love, man. Ultimately, all of this is about love. We're supposed to love one another. Hey, the scripture says, uh, by this shall they know that you're my disciples. How you love one another, man. If we're not, uh, how do you know that somebody doesn't love you? They're not correcting you. They're not rebuking you. They're not teaching you the correct doctrine. They're going, they're making you go completely the fuck off, man. And another thing, too, Jake gotta also stop being a bitch 
Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, no, honestly, Jake has to stop being a bitch. For real talk. If you about to be saved, why does any of this shit really matter? Like, not to say that Jake don't rub you the wrong way sometimes if y'all got different spirits, but it says, bear not against your fellow for every wrong. Right. It also is written in the law where it says, grudge not one against another. We got that. Jake, go ahead. This is the book of Leviticus, Damn. chapter 19, verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Damn. But thou. Be, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord Yahweh. So some shit you just gotta really let go. All right, because even Yahweh Shah said it himself, man. This is the Lord over everything under Yahweh, who said that um any any wrong that any man bears against the son of man, it shall be, be forgiven. And guess what? The Most High may not have forgiven uh, those wrongs that, uh, that that men had against Yahweh Shai, and now they're suffering in the flesh because they was wicked, so they're going to be enemies kind of in that, in that day, and now he's going to get the judging, man. So if it's really truly right, if it's really truly right, and you be a man of the Lord, and they offended one of the little ones, let it go. If it's dead, like that at the end of the day, well, now it's chopping season, man. Now it's Levit- it's not, so like now it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Luke 19 and 27, and you'll get that vengeance. But some shit just let that shit the fuck go. It's your brother. Yeah, yeah, right. once the Lord can forgive you, forgive your brother. And that's what he said. You know what I'm saying? Right you, uh, can't forgive a mortal man who's like to kill stuff. How are you going to ask for forgiveness from the Lord? He said, uh, Romans the 13th chapter, that love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Love is still not alone. Mm-hmm. You got to love your neighbor. You got to uh, um, forgive him. You go repent. I mean, if you're a man of the Lord, you go repent. <laughs> hey, how can you uh, how can you love the Lord and hate your brother? Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, we were just going into it, man. The, the women kind of like that. Women don't really get alone, man. That's the reason why they say that they have better male friends, which is another excuse for them to just be a whore. But at the same time, that, that thing is actually true. Is that men don't really, men kind of get over shit. At the most, yeah. all right, what you used to do back in the day? Put the gloves on. Y'all go duke it out and get over it. It's some real man ass shit. This shit is really kind of gay uh, that, that men can't get over certain things. It's a feminine tale. It's a feminine tale. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's what Esau, the Lord said Esau was likening to a woman. He said, he, he made, he's a bitch. Yeah. All right? Yeah. He said, uh, so, 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 say that again? Isaiah 47, I think. Right. He, he, the Lord said he's, 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 he's got that womanly spirit on him. Yeah. So, guess what? He said, men, uh, this last days, they will be likening to women. Hmm. So, now men follow that female emotional Beastly vibration. That's a female nature. Mm-hmm. All right. We are supposed to be uh, spiritual yep. mm-hmm. and intellectual. We supposed to be uh, Isaiah one and was it thirty? Come now, let us reason together. Mm-hmm. Though my skin sins were uh, scarlet, they should be made whiter than snow. We supposed to reason. Mm-hmm. All right. We used to be spiritual reason and, and uh, intellectual understanding. That don't happen with Esau either. Oh, his yeah. ass, his ass is straight beastly, straight emotional. Straight feminine. Mm-hmm. Hold on to shit forever, man. Man. Right. Fuck. If, if the Lord kept that spirit with us, no flesh would be saved. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm about to go, so shalom, I kill. Shalom. Uh, I'm going to leave him with y'all. If you do too much, just send him in the basement. Then when y'all leave, send him in the basement with Baba Kachar. Please uh, tidy up and stuff. Shalom. And shalom, shalom to shalom. those who are watching in and tuning in. Shalom. Y'all got to shalom. I got something. Shalom. Shalom. I know what he did. I want to go back to that John drip. Uh, back in John 6 and 32. Uh, um, back in John 6 and 32, we'll uh, go back here. It says, uh, Then Yahweh Shai saith unto them, Verily, verily, which means truly, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread uh, for the bread of the Most High is it, is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Mm. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh Shai said unto, unto them, I am the bread of life. Okay? See, Yahweh Shai is the bread of life. Okay? Which is also Yahweh Shai is what? The word. Okay? So you need to, you need to be uh, 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 reading, which is, that's your, that's, your, uh, that's your daily bread right there. Okay? So don't forsake it. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Why is that? Because you have the truth. Look at the rest of these jakes out here. They're all over the place, you know, spiritually speaking, looking for uh, the, the answers, man, the right food, you know, food, so to speak, okay? That's why they go from, what, Christianity to 
Islam, yep. to the fucking black woman, all right? Black Just conscience. fucking proof. <laughs> then they go to the Red Pill Doctrine. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I live the Red the Pill Doctrine. doctrine. Andrew Tate, that's yeah. the new guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's fucking, you know, Tate, Tate, uh, Tate boy. Top G. Top G. <laughs> Top G. All right, you got dumb motherfuckers, man, right? Yeah. That dude's a new item. But um, let me yeah. keep reading. Um, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believeth not. And it says, um, a Salakian. Um, yeah, you know Salakian, my bad. I'm going to keep reading. It says, um, but, uh, but I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and he that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I shall lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will rise him up at the last day. That's what the Lord is doing right now. He, 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 uh, he's um, risen us up right from the dead. It says the Jews then murmured at him because, ooh, watch out, calm down, Mr. Biggs. Hey, come on, let's go. It says the Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which comes down from heaven. All right, a bunch of scoffing ass niggas. Sounds very typical of Jacob. Yeah. And they said, Is not this Yahweh Shai, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I come from heaven? Yahweh Shai therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the father which had sent me draw him. All right, so basically predestination, man. You, you, you can't come... Uh, 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 to Yahweh Shah unless Yahweh set it up that way. That's right. You know? Simple as that. And it says, and I will raise him up at the last day. Uh, it is written in the prophets, and they shall be taught, be all taught of the Most High. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. All right, you got to go uh, to Yahweh Shah first, man. You can't just get to the Heavenly Father. There's an order to things. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is the Most High, he hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am the bread of, of life. Okay? <laughs> exactly. I'm going to keep reading Salak Yachim. It's a little bit long. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. Okay? And, and see, we... We, we got to eat that spiritual bread, man. All right? But I'll say this. Don't overeat either. Get that scripture and don't be a niggard at the table. Because uh, you got particular individuals. They they have come to the feast. It tells you that in the book of, uh, what is it, uh, Second Peter's, man? We're talking about the scoffers in the last days and all that. Second Peter's, yeah. All right? And it, it, when you go down, all right, to the lat latter verses, it talks about how they're what? They're, they're b blemishes in your feast. Talking about these scoffers, they're with us, man, eating, man. But what are they doing? They're being a goddamn nigger and overeating, right. and then they're starting to do some of this stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take this with me. I'm gonna take that. With me. You know what I'm saying? E e overeating, like, hey, like how they did in what the wilderness, man. What happened? Because what did uh, Moses tell uh, 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 the people, man? He said, "Look, e e gather enough for yourself for that day, and that's all you need." But what did, what did some of them start doing? They started overpacking. Yep. Yep. Spoiled. That's right, man. All right? And that's what some of you guys uh, uh, do, man. You're eating too much goddamn honey, man. Now you're vomiting everything up. Pooh bear. That's uh, read that. Because you know what? Because you were a goddamn niggar, man, at the table. You had no table manners, so to speak, spiritually speaking. That's why you're, you're vomiting everything up now. This is the Rock 14 and 10. A wicked eye envieth his bread, and he is a niggard at his table. Exactly. Hey, you're, you're a damn niggard at the table, man. And looking at all, at all this stuff, man, you're like, oof, I need this, I need that. Just, just overeating. Didn't even ask anybody else, hey, do, do you want this? Or 
Can can I serve you? you No, man. And what did the scripture say, man? You know, this is this is all through the spirit, man. What did Sarah say, man? You're not supposed to uh, basically uh, uh, basically put your hands out there and just start eating right away. Hands out first. Yeah, I forgot how it's worded. If you can get that to us, you know. (laughs) Because you you got um, things that are literal in the scriptures, but then sometimes you can apply it spiritually speaking. This uh, Sirach 31, and I'll start at 17. It says, Leave off first for manner's sake, and be not insatiable, lest thou offend. Mm. Yeah, you should be the first one to uh, attack a meal. You should, you know, hey, you wait, you look around, you see. First off, that's the part where it's circumspect, man. Mm-hmm. You know, in, in a meal, in a table, you would look around and see who, who else needs to be fed. And then also with wisdom, all right, you, what do you have to do? You have to wait and meditate on things, man. You, you read something, you got to nest upon it. What is this scripture really truly saying to me? I know what it said in the world. All right, that's cool. Or you just, you, you don't even nest that. Some things ain't that deep. It's, at least not for that time. You read it, and you just, you kind of, you read it. You let it sit. You don't just go in first, man. You got to let the meal cool off. You know, you see what's before you. You've read it, but you got to really let the Lord start dealing. You know, because it, shit, brother said it all the time. It'd be the same scripture that you thought was so simple throughout the years. You go back and read it, and you keep, it keeps on unfolding. It's like a damn onion. Facts. Sure. Is there any more than that? Kind. It says, uh, Sirach 31 18, when thou sittest among many, reach not thine hand out first of all. Yeah, because right there, that's a man that doesn't have a table manners. What are you supposed to do first, man? You serve the elders, okay? Yeah, you serve your guests, then then you go down, you know, the order. But you got guys. What are they trying to do? They're trying to uh, 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 go. Uh, be, basically, they're they're going before the elders. They're trying to get that that, that seat, you know, that top seat, the, the seat of preeminence, you know. And now look at them. Now look at them they're getting cursed out. They're through. Now they got. Uh, uh, they're kicked out of the banquet. Now they're like, oh my tummy hurts. Now they're just vomiting out everything. You that nigga that wanted to, uh, to speak at the, at the front of the wedding, but you yelling out in the crowd, <laughs> they can carry your drunk ass out. <laughs> All right. Bitch man, hands full of honey, grab a whole big ass gulp of it. Oh, yeah. his mouth. <laughs> Poop in it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Poop it. Through. You know? Yeah, I'm Crazy, bro. Back up. Yeah, because what happened to eat too much honey? Your stomach, like I said, your stomach starts hurt, and you'll vomit the shit back up. Right? Yep. Instead of eating enough is sufficient for you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it, at some point it does come to where you got to kind of slow down. It's just like even when going into certain wicked doctors to do breakdowns on Not everybody can handle that, you know? You have to, shit, it, it's a lot easier to just obtain a simpler life. Deal with, with, with what is before you, right. you know? It's the most high dealer. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Apollo didn't learn the rest of the breakdown until after uh, he had met with a Priscilla and Aquila, man. All he knew was the baptism of repentance. That's all he knew. And he was teaching that fervently as hell. It's like a brother who always just went into the chariot. You gonna hate this fuck for teaching the truth? He's still teaching the truth. He didn't go off. Yeah, yeah. All he knows is the jab. Stick with the jab. Yeah. Well, I know. Oh, that's the most dangerous person practicing a move a thousand times. Yeah. And we just talked about this brother, we just talking about this before uh we even opened up. And you weren't even over there when Ellie Ray was talking about that, man. Uh-huh. Where he said that I don't fear the man that knows a thousand moves, I know the man that knows I fear the man that, that knows a thousand kicks. That's <laughs> fucking like that, bro. Uh, that no, uh, practice a move. Yeah, you yeah, practice that same time. move because that means that man has accuracy. That makes style. 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 perfection. Yeah. Yeah. I mean brothers know, know that you know the MMA game, I mean you know but that thing with the uh, Leon Edwards and Usman, man. Oh, the head kick. The head kick. Hey, Leon Edwards practiced that nonstop. They were showing that, you know, uh, what he was practicing before yep. that KO. That one, two, three, three. And then and he did the, man, it was, it was identical, man, literally. Identical to, you know, yeah, what he was practicing, how he execu- executed it during, you know, a bell. And then once he executed it, it was, it, was, it was with accuracy, but now he has much more oh. experience in it, so he's going to get that much more raw when he does it now. Because yeah. hey, the thing is, is that the Lord didn't just heap up a bunch of old niggas that just uh, start looking raw as hell with beers, with Bibles in their hands. Right. He, he, he nourished men up in their youth. All yeah. right? 
Yeah, I can get you in a like no, like let's say the person is good on the ground. Their opponent knows that they're gonna avoid getting on the ground. Oh, like yeah, that, you know, at all costs. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You see that it, it should be funny as hell. They fall right, he hurt his ass, let's get back right up. up. <laughs> that shit, it'd be hilarious how they do it too, man. <laughs> they ain't trying to get on the ground. Yeah, he's, he's dangerous. He's dangerous. Yeah, that particular person is like danger on the ground. You wanna you wanna deal with that with that guy on the ground, man. Right? And not that scoffers are dangerous, but it's even certain key arguments we don't uh really engage with on the line. Like when somebody comes up and you already know the bullshit they're on, they're trying to uh, change the platform of what you're already talking about. Okay, cool, go teach that yourself. And right. You, just, you know how to direct, you know how to direct traffic. No, I was talking about what y'all were saying earlier. No, I was related to what you were saying. No, no, I'm about, no you said uh, what Bruce Lee said, you know. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. you know, that, uh, you know, uh, a thousand, uh, practice a move a thousand, thousand times. times. Right. It's more dangerous than the person that practiced one, I mean, a thousand moves one, one time. time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got a little bit more than this. This is back in John 6 and 51. Now, I am the I am the living bread which come down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Yahweh shall I say unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. Ye have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And by the way, this is just, you know, he's uh, uh, speaking parabolically. Mm-hmm. Okay, but hey, you got some people that got offended by this. I did. Well, it tells you actually later. What's crazy is it's John chapter 6, the 66th verse. That's when they, they, they left. 666, 230 niggas left. That's spiritual, man. Uh, Damn. Demons. I got two pieces. Come, come. Uh, first, um, Sirach 24 and 1, it says, Wisdom shall praise herself in glory in the midst of her people, so you understand what he's talking about. Uh, this is verse 21, chapter 24. It says, They that eat me shall yet be hungry. It said, And they that drink me shall yet be thirsty, meaning that you should not be thirsty. See, when your house out, that, that goes to show you what he was talking about was his wisdom, man. That's right. Back, uh, back in John 6 and 54 now it says whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed and he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I am him as the living father hath sent me and I live by the father so he that eateth me even he shall live by me that is that bread which came down from heaven not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. And I'm just going to, let me just finish this up. Uh, I just want to be at least 66, man. Oh, man. <laughs> man, this whole chapter is heavy, man. Mm-hmm. John, the book of John is heavy. Yeah. We haven't realized that by now. Very heavy. Shit, man. You in the sixth chapter? Yeah, the sixth chapter. This is a heavy so chapter, man. Yeah, yeah, Verse good. 59. Then it says, These things said he in the synagogue, and he taught in uh, Capernaum, Many therefore of the disciples, when they heard, have heard uh, this, said, "This is a hard saying. Mm-hmm. Who can hear it?" Meaning, understand it. When Yahweh Shai knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, "Do it this offend you? What? And if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, it is a spirit." And then, you know, you, you, I'll say this: You're going to have guys that get offended by this word. What? They were first. Uh, uh, they were uh, following Yahweh Shai, all right, or following this word at some point. They, they were amongst us, but then they got offended by something, mm-hmm. all right. It, it could have been, uh, oh, I don't like how that brother talked to me. Mm-hmm. It could be, well, hey, this whole uh, Deuteronomy the twenty second, the second chapter is a little intense, all right. Which, hey, brother, today we with the you know the uh, the seizing doctrine. I'll say it like that, all right, of women. That's a little intense for them, all right. You know, oh, now they start. They they, they, they think they're in the, actually the new covenant. And these, these are like, they're, they're offended by th- you know these things. We have not entered into those. Oh, it's like we didn't enter into the new covenant. My bad. Shit. Yeah, you <laughs> talking about this? Out? Right, right. Yeah, they, they be so offended. They falsely accuse you of doing shit. Yeah, no, we have not entered into those doors, man. It's only one of them that has went in, and he's about to open the door for many sons. But we 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 still. John 6 and 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth, meaning makes you alive. The flesh profited nothing. 
The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's what the spirit is, man. All right, these words. But there are some of you that believe not. See, Yahweh already knew it, man. He called their ass out. For Yahweh knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. Oh, they really hate that when you call them out. Deep through their bullshit. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And like, we do the same thing because we got the spirit of Yahweh shining us. We start calling, hey, you know, I don't think this guy's a man of the Lord. You know, I don't think he's going to make it. They get offended by that. Then eventually what happens? Yep. They fall out. Yep. Hey, man, we, we've been seeing it. We've been seeing your downfall. All of a sudden, now, now hey, you're distant. You don't like rebuke. You, you, you don't, you know, really say too much to brothers. Yeah, this dude, was, he's actually kind of funny now. I don't, I don't, I don't know about him. And then we're on the brothers, like, it's like what it says in the scriptures. It says, uh, for in me you shall have peace, in the world you shall have tribulation. If you don't have peace, and you have a shot, which is the brothers, which is, yeah, you, you're going to get caught out on your shit. If you don't have peace with this, you fucked. Because, hey, I, I, I don't know how people can do it outside of this. Like, these people are, are bugged out out here, man. For real. It's really aggravating to deal with these motherfuckers. But the wisdom keeps you... When, you, when it comes to having to deal in the world and having a job and, and, and being around your woman or dealing with your mother or your father, it keeps you on how to deal with these people, <laughs> you know, which can still be frustrating to deal with them. So it's, it's good to be real, real merged into the spirit and around brothers, and then you tell a brother about your situation, you could have went off, then the brother corrects you on it, oh, damn, no, nah, brother, you was actually going off, you're supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that according to the scriptures, all right? Because those are things that's supposed to help bring you peace. In, in your life when you're away from the brothers, man. I got, I got a little more. You want to do something quick? Yeah, something real quick to touch on what the elder just said. This is uh, 1 Maccabees 12 and 9. Check your point. It says, Therefore we also, albeit we need none of these things, that we have the holy books of the scriptures in our hands to comfort us. And when you're around the brothers, it says, so R37, continue with a godly man. You're going to be around a brother. No, you can tell him anything. You're around a nigga or a woman or some shit. You all, you got to be Clark Kent. You got to be someone you're not. But when you're around a brother, you do yeah. to say whatever you want. Tell him, man, I feel like this. I feel like that. And he's going to comfort you yeah. with scripture. Just commit uh, time up to see the, the Incredibles. The, you know, ah, yeah. You know? The new one. Oh. Just, just in general, like, they, 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 they could really be themselves. Superheroes, oh, yeah, they, yeah. they were. You know what I'm saying? Tony when they were around each other, but then they had to, you know, Tony down. Yeah, yeah, they work an office job. And, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Man, <laughs> you know. With Dad, she got second place. He had to, <laughs> <laughs> you know, cussed out by a whole bitch. And he old superhero. You know, hey. so you know, yeah, man, you can really be yourself around brothers. All right, but uh, let me finish this out. Back in uh, John six, and uh. 65. And he said, Therefore I said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. Mm. For that time many of the disciples went back, right, and walked no more with them. Like I said, it's spiritual. John chapter 6, verse 66. 666. All right, which that's two thirds, man. What do you say there? From that time, many, that's a lot of people right there, of his disciples went back and walked no more with them. Uh, where did they go back, man? They went back into the goddamn world. They looked back like Lot's wife. And they're about to get fucking disintegrated like Lot's wife, man. Mm -hmm. Become a fucking goddamn pillar of salt, man. A monument. We made it a lot easier than you did. Looking at the love. We got police. Modern day terms, man. It's chicken and fucking corn, man. Mm -hmm. On a cop. <laughs> All right. They were cut and they, they couldn't, you know, they didn't have the peace in the, in the patience to actually wait on the edification that came with what your house shot said. You know? It was too hard for them. It was too hard. When something becomes too hard for somebody, like imagine how you used to be in school trying to solve math problems. Hard. You kinda of just want to get away from that shit. Hard. You could probably you could probably got through it. You could probably got through it had you just sat there and dealt for a little while. But it was so hard, you just wanted away from it. I wish I was. I would like to like to be how I was before I came here. Yeah. You know, like some guys here, you think about the past and shit. You know, wish wishing they've been in the past. And you know, eventually, you know, I knew a couple of guys in this camp that was like that. Damn. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Then Yahweh Shai said unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the anointed, the son of the living power, Yahweh. I don't want to go back in the bondage. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And then this world gets mad that we don't want to uh, 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 be in that cesspool with them. Right. Yeah. They're mad that we're not dirty with them. The you nigga, know? The from the Matrix, he said, I don't remember, want to remember shit. Oh, yeah, he said, <laughs> stay. You go back into the world, Lord's gonna make you remember everything. And you can pull the fuck out. You remember everything but the good parts. Yeah, because, you know, one of the things, like you said, the world mad because you don't go back by, by me. One of the things is because they know they don't have what it takes. Yeah. And they, they mad at you that you got what it takes. You yeah. fight. They hate us, bro. Yeah. Then there'll be people that are amongst you. Mm -hmm. You got guys that, that they'll literally be in the camp. They they, they, they get mad at, at the, the entire body for being strong because they're getting weak. Then they become a fucking secret hater, man. God. All right? Got that hater rate in them. God, no. Oh, no, I was talking about this with you. I was uh, talking about this with the brother, big guy, uh, Isaiah. And that was, uh, who else I was talking about 300 with? But the motherfucking, uh, the form that has motherfuckers who couldn't, he, yeah, he couldn't said, raise up yeah, he yeah. couldn't get his shit to raise up. So now he's just not as smart as your bitch ass. And that, instead of doing everything, he, he still said he still got a job to do. He may not be the head, he may not be the fence, but nigga, you could be a toenail. This is, it's greatly needed, man. Right. You know, that, that, that helps with health. You, you may not be the most specific part. He even says that the honeybee is as small as a mother. All the Lord's creatures, man, but her, her fruit is cheapest above all. Yep. Right? Just being that small, that, that thing matters in, in, in shit. We actually need bees for a lot of agriculture that we have, man. Oh, God. You know, not fruit. He didn't pollinize things, man. Mm -hmm. But that nigga was so fucking upset that he couldn't be that uh, fucking raw ass nigga slicing and dicing and armor with his ugly ass. <laughs> he became a traitor, man. Right. You yeah, know? Yeah. He became a sellout. Yeah, he, he said, I was really slapping his face. He said, I was really slapping his face to the Lord. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I got it. Hebrew chapter 6, yeah. verse 4. Yeah. For it is impossible for those who were enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. Verse 5. And have tasted the good word, the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come. If they fall away, to renew them again unto repentance, saying they crucified to themselves these sons of Yahweh a fresh and put him to an open shame. <laughs> so it goes to, you know, those, you know, who was enlightened by this gift, man, you know, this truth. But hey, they want to follow it because they offended, you know, because the brother said this, you know, this going on, that going on. But man, you put, hey, you deny Yahweh shy, man. You know, that's the worst thing of all, man. Yeah, they go in the deep book. They did that in the past, so they're doing it in this lifetime. They the same, the life. same spirit coming back all their life. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Job 23 and 12, one of the probably the favorite scriptures. It says, Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Mm -hmm. We understand, and this is above, like, above just what we have. And these words which the Lord gives, and this is eternal life. This is a, um, it feeds your spirit. We feed our body basically then every day. You know. <laughs> but every day, <laughs> you gotta feed your spirit too, how much more? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta think about that. That was in truth when uh, it was King David who said that, right? Joe. It, oh, it was in Joe? Yeah. Well, shit, you have to think this shit. It was, it was days he, he actually was fasting and probably when we were out eating was actually uh, uh, nesting upon the words of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know? For him to say that, like, shit, it's days, shit, I ain't even thought about, he's not just been thinking about, like, what I'm supposed to do this right. Oh, yeah, man. God, that's fascinating. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> yeah, and pretty much, you know, you know, you know, we're going to end this lesson. 
Hopefully it was another edifying one. And with that, you know, we're going to end off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rechak Ba'ash. Also double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And so he takes to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ba'ashem. A Baba Ba'ashem.